Uh, my name's uh, my name's Holstein. Uh, this uh, just you know I understand most of you are incoming freshmen and you may think you're in biology too. This is not biology too. This is the Judeo-Christian tradition, and I'm going to teach the first half. I want to introduce you to the chief TA in the class because he's the one who facilitates uh, drops and ads and switch sections if such things are necessary. This is uh, Eric uh, Dickman, good friend of mine. Go away. I want to introduce uh, Professor Keen, Ralph Keen, who will take up uh, after I uh, after I let off. Now, uh, how many of you are uh, incoming uh, freshmen? Right. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter at all. People make a big deal about teaching freshmen and say it. It doesn't matter at all. Either you got the stuff. Either you got the discipline. Either you're going to weather the storm. And you know what the storm is? After about two weeks, boredom will set in in your classrooms with such an intensity that you will feel like you would rather be dead in some cases. You got to weather the storm. This is not exciting what we do here. You're not sitting on the edge of the seat waiting for my next great pronouncement. If left to our own devices, I would not be here. This is the way I make a living. If left to your own devices, you would not be here. If we came up with a deal so that you could get credit and a university diploma without attending classes, very few of you, including me, if they would pay me if I didn't come, would be here. This is a very difficult thing to do. The people who talk about how exciting the classroom are generally university administrators who show up at your graduations as if they had something to do with your education and who avoid at all costs the classroom. Now, if it's bad, and it is bad, I was a student until I was 32 years old. It's bad. I know what you're going through out there. The average attention span is 10 to 12 minutes. Class is 50 minutes. That's a problem. That's a real problem. You will drift in and out on me. And here I want you to listen. Listen for the first time to me, as if your life depended on it. I'm old. This is my 38th year doing this. I'm irascible. I do not like misbehavior in the classroom. I do not like people coming in late. I understand that some of you are lost now. I understand that some of you have to come across the river. Come up and tell me about it, and just when you come in late, sit on the edges. Don't walk through waving at people as if it's a grand event. It's a classroom. We're here to do what we have to do. I will yell at you for yawning. Don't take it personally. It's not my ego talking to you. It's me trying to get you back on track. You understand? If you sit there, bored out of your mind when I'm talking, you will suck up my energy and I'll be a dead man by the third week in the semester. If I can get you interested enough so that you give me an energy return, it is a feeling the likes of which there are few others in the world, and I'm not being sentimental. That ain't going to happen very much. It usually doesn't ever happen, to tell you the truth. But every once in a while, I say something. It triggers a response, even in a room like this, and I feel this wave of energy. You will do almost anything to get this. If I could take a pill, I would take the pill. If I could take the pill and I was told it will shorten your life by 10 years, I would say, give me the pill. It is really something, and if any of you become a teacher, remember what it is that I have said. Now, here's the problem. Here's the real problem. This is the worst teaching environment on the university campus. I know they redid it, and the seats are comfortable, and the this is the worst. I am telling you, I have come to understand that the angel of death has taken up residence in this room. <laughs> Whether this is a metaphor, and it just means that it saps me dry and I feel like a dead man, or in fact, I may die in the middle of a lecture here, or in fact, somebody will yell fire and students will trample me to death on their way out. I don't know what it means, but there's something very wrong with this room. I can't see it, all of you, at the same time. Outbreaks break out up there of boredom and I can't do anything about it, so I really focus, and when I focus, I lose people all over the place. This is a rotten room. You deserve better. When I was asked, I teach in this room more than anybody else, I think. When I was asked, 
What should we do with McBride? This is when they were thinking of various options. I said, bomb it. <laughs> the university admits, this is a slight exaggeration. The university will admit almost anybody with a pulse. This is not Harvard. This is not Yale. It's true it ain't Iowa State either, but I got enough problems without worrying about that. In this classroom, there are individuals who are so much brighter than I am that it's a joke. It's just a joke. And in this classroom, at the other end of the spectrum, there are individuals who don't have a chance. They're going to try, and maybe they won't try, but it's the academic enterprise is not for them. But they don't know that yet. It may take them years to figure this out. In the middle, there are those of you like me. You can go either way. That's my introduction. From here on in, everything I say is grist for the mill of the exam.